a lot of times we think about, you know, the streets of gold um, or just a, a packed urban environment, but I don't think that's ever really the picture in the Bible. It's really a, uh, it's really a garden. What's up, guys? Welcome to another 5 Minute Fatherhood. So should every family team grow their own food? Uh, one of the things that Jeff and I want to talk to you guys about is that it doesn't mean that necessarily you should grow all your own food. But I really think that there is something special and I think almost universal about getting in the dirt and growing something. Um, and that really helps the family team. There's a couple of biblical references to this. Obviously, when our story began in a garden and it ends in a garden city, one of the things that consistently is said throughout the Bible um, is that when it describes the, the millennial kingdom or times of great uh, peace and prosperity in Israel. It has this line, and it's used multiple times in the Old Testament. It says that um, every man was under his own fig tree and under his own vine. It said that about the time of Solomon. The prophets say that about a future, um, um, really when it's talking about kind of a glorious future for the kingdom of God. It, it really describes people growing their own food. <laughs> it's like yeah. a lot of times we think about you know the streets of gold um, or just a, a packed urban environment, but I don't think that's ever really the picture in the Bible. It's really a, uh, it's really a garden um, that is primarily described and that even when we're brought into an urban environment that's more of a city, it's a garden city. And so and, and every time it's described, every family and every you know has their own fig tree, their own vine or you know we don't know exactly how all that's going to work. But it's really, really important to think about uh, that there's something it does to our spirit, something that th- that growing um, your food and experiencing that as a family, it, there's something kind of broken about the modern spirit. And Jeff, I wanted you to maybe tease that a little bit. Yeah, totally. And I've tried to have been teasing this out or think about this too, of kind of like these... these um families are either like factories or they're like farms, right? And factories kind of just have these conveyor belts that push you down a line. When farms are circular in nature, everything comes back around to serve the next thing, right? They're more like the circle of life, you know, Lion King vibes. Um, When a factory is the opposite, factory is like a line that just pushes things out, but it never reconnects to the beginning. And gardening is just a really good kind of small act of resistance to do that um, and kind of remain in that spirit and just remind yourself of truths, et cetera. And then I think, yeah, there's just so many multi-complex layers, there, especially with toddlers, by the way, which we have to me, it's really difficult. Actually, like one of the biggest challenges I think with toddlers is to think of things you can kind of like little small ways you can do projects together on mission. Like that's like appropriate for everyone and everyone can kind of put their hand in and all that. And gardening is yeah. like literally one of the only things and the best thing of just like, you can all do it. It's easy for like all skill levels it's rewarding for all skill levels. Um, you, it's very easy to like teach at an elementary level. Like you just go on and on. And then also like use it and feed it and talk about like there's so many layers. Talk about your table and the food and growing your own food and where does food come from and how do we work together and why does it take so long? There's like spiritual analogies, you know, forever with gardening. And so I think, yeah, I think that's a really, really helpful one and a huge one. And just start something small. Start a little herb garden, go to Home Depot, spend 15 bucks, get some soil, get those 60, 70 cents, you know, little pre-grown starter things and move and go from there. And I think it's a really, really awesome thing. If you guys want to see uh, Jeff and I working on our gardens, you can follow us That's on right. Instagram, family teams as well. Um, we love our family has been doing a lot of a lot of growing this year. And so i um, love to introduce that to you guys. And so you can jump on there um, and follow us or follow family teams. We're going to be talking a lot about um, how what, what's going on at other families that are kind of getting in the dirt uh, during the season. So I encourage you guys to get out there, get a little herb garden going, grow some flowers. Even if you're in a city, uh, environment, do something on uh, some south facing windows. Yep. Um, we can all jump in there, throw a piece of garlic or onion in a in a <laughs> cup of water and watch it grow. <laughs> yeah, bring your bring something growing around your kids and in your family. It's really healthy. Uh, it's a really great experience, and there's something really spiritual about it. And it's about cultivating that spirit uh, that Jeff's talking about. So we want you guys to go for that. 